Hey folks, Dino here again. This time, taking a look at a much anticipated and much delayed figure, at least in my case. <laughs> the um, Figure Arts Goku Black. Now, um, I will say right off the bat, I was supposed to get this guy like when he first came out in Japan, but for some reason, Nipponya san never got any more stock of him. And when they did, they decided to bump his price right up. So I had to wait until uh, somewhere else got him in stock. So yeah, a um, bit rambly, but at the end of the day, I ended up going for Forbidden Planet, like the UK site, uh, which was a bit strange. I didn't realise they stocked them. But he was pretty much the price you would pay for, like, any other release, really. There's no more <laughs> extortionate fees. Uh, and it came out the exact same time as the American one. So, yeah, I really can't complain. Um, first things first, let's take a look at the box, shall we? Because this is the strange thing. Even though it came out the same time as the American release, this is quite clearly the... Japanese box, uh, complete with the Japanese spelling of Goku, or Goku. Uh, you've got the collector shop logo there, the sticker, Tamashi Nations, there's nothing about Funimation or anything on it. So yeah, um, on the back is something quite strange. You've got this sticker here, which is in Italian, French and English, about someone called the Cosmic Group. So I did a bit of research and it looks as if Cosmic Group is actually now the official distributor in the UK and most of Europe. So yeah, that's why the prices aren't very expensive. Um, but yeah, it must have been just cheaper for Tomashi to send them the Japanese version. And they've just added stickers on. So yeah, We've got our own equivalent of Bluefin now, which is a good thing, definitely. Uh, so yeah, you've got some pictures on the back, various poses, and yeah, apart from that, box is just a standard new style box. So yeah. Put him back in frame. Now, in terms of accessories, you'll notice I've already got him with the rosé head. Uh, he also comes in the box with this head right here. Now, a bit of contention with this, because, if you bear with me just a moment, and we will get this guy. So, um, move Rosé out of the way just now. The Super Saiyan God Goku, the first figure with the new hair mould. Okay, so, pretty much the exact same mould only difference being this front piece is slightly different. Um, even how they connect is identical. <laughs> I mean, to the point that you can actually put the black front bangs on there. So yeah, um, it's the same base mould, but to put it to rest, they're making new bangs so that every hairpiece doesn't look exactly the same. Uh, this one for example has this extra bang here. I think the upcoming Namek Saga Goku, the 2.0, has slightly different front bangs as well, but the base here is the same. Okay, so yeah, putting that to bed, to do that, you take that off, and you pop it back on. Just going to leave the same one on. Because it's just easier that way. Oh dear. <laughs> I just accidentally knocked into my uh, display. There. So yeah. Um, on this head. It's an evil looking Goku. Complete with the Patari earrings. Uh, the smirk unfortunately is only on this base head, which is really strange because Goku Black got even cockier and 
menacing when he went into rosé form. But, for whatever reason, we don't get that. Um, we have the sort of grimaced, a uh, teeth gritting face looking to the side. Obviously because the base form of Black used his own Kamehameha instead of his own sort of stuff. A uh, yelling face for the rosé head. They've done the, the grey eyes really well, I have to say. And there we go. That's the only other head you get. Just this sort of bored looking <laughs> rosé. <laughs> I, I don't know why. Why did they not just give it to uh, smirking faces? I, I don't get it. Uh, to think with that, just the usual pegs. Um, I believe these pegs are the same as the base form Goku's, so definitely in the future they're <laughs> they're gonna retool uh, the faces so that they all work with this clearly 2.0 head, and it is a much better Super Saiyan head. It's not quite as you know defined as uh, a lot of people would like, but it's far better than either the Super Saiyan Blue or the old style uh, Super Saiyan head that they got. It's it's a bit better defined, defined basically. Um, but yeah, uh, the heads just pop off on a ball peg. Black ball peg this time for some reason. Don't know why they like changing the colours, it's probably cheaper rather than making the rest of the figure. But, hey uh, One thing I will say, which it looks as if they've literally done this just to save costs, is the Goku Black base form head. I don't know if you can see it. Let's get him out of the way. Uh, probably better just to do that, won't it? Yeah, as you can just about make out there. Yeah, there we go. Um, it's hollowed. It's not completely solid, as it used to be. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, don't know why they decided to do that. But, there you go. Um, it doesn't affect the figure any. <laughs> Just don't do it on the arms or anything, I suppose. <laughs> but yeah. Um, in terms of hands, he comes with the usual Goku accessories. Uh, He's got the grippy Kamehameha hands. You'll notice on all of them, they've got a nice little moulded uh, time ring on them. In fact, if we can go there, you can actually see it's not just a standard silver ring. They've actually defined it. Um, he's got posy hands. Two fist hands, one of which is on him. This is the one with the time ring on it. One uh, looking at the time ring sort of hand from when he was gloating to uh, Goku and Trunks about being able to follow them. This one, which is from that specific scene where he thinks he's Vegeta's chin because he's so much faster than Vegeta, he couldn't keep up. <laughs> And the final one is one karate chop hand, which is to fit his a uh, beam. And yeah, it's not the divine lasso in that form. The divine lasso is more like a scythe, uh, not a scythe. The scythe slater. <laughs> he changes. <laughs> he changes the design of this quite often. Uh, this is just the base one. Um, then it becomes what sort of cutlass sort of design. Anyway, uh, think of the hands, it's quite easy. They pop off really easy, which is a good thing. And uh, yeah, um, let's pop that off just so that we can take a look at articulation. Now, um, you can look up a decent amount. Uh, bear with me two seconds.
Yeah, that's a bit better. Uh, just to darken it, the pink is affecting the white balance. <laughs> so, yeah, pink on black. Who knew? Uh, can look up really well. Down quite well. The face does have a tendency to pop off though. Um, side to side. And a bit of wiggle in the neck area. His arms can go up about that far. However, they've still got these stupid shoulder pad things. They really have to go the same way as figure eyes. Honestly, there's there's no need for this anymore. Just build it in at the joint. It can't be that difficult. You can build it. <laughs> um, biceps of all. Double jointed elbow. Swivel. And basic ball joint at the hand. You've got this new pull up feature. In fact, it doesn't actually feel as if it can pull up on this figure. Um, but regardless, you can go back a lot farther than you can go forward, which is really more what it's for. <laughs> but I don't know. Um, does have wist, wist, waiter, waist articulation. My goodness. Um, I need to learn to speak. <laughs> You've got thigh swivel. Legs go up there. Go back really far as well. Knee articulation. Same sort of style as we've been getting recently. Yep, it is the 2.0 articulation under there. This piece doesn't hinder it whatsoever. Uh, if they make a 2.0 uh, Universe 6 slash Resurrection F saga Goku, this should be the base body that they use. So much better than the one we actually got, <laughs> honestly. Uh, the feet can go down that far, up that far, and have decent toe articulation. Uh, it's a standard ball peg, double ball peg, but it gets some decent articulation, I suppose. So, yeah. Uh, is this guy worth the price? He's definitely worth retail. I was actually going to get two of them. One for his base form and one in his rosé form. But, for whatever reason, the scalpers have seen fit to latch on to this guy, probably because of how popular he is and the fact that he's a Goku. Uh, even if he's not like the Goku. <laughs> um, they've latched onto him and his price is quite quickly going up. Plus the fact that Tamashi, for some reason, have limited the releases for this guy, the Frieza, and the Roshi. Well, as far as we know, it does seem to be the case because of like how quickly everywhere's running out of them. But I mean, why? <laughs> I don't understand at all why they would limit them. Um, I mean, this guy being a web exclusive, he's never going to come back. Why limit him any more than he has to be? I don't get it. Unless they're planning him for a Comic-Con exclusive variant with a smirking face and the, the actual scythe. I don't know. But, anyway guys. Enough of my ranting. <laughs> That'll do it for this review. So, until next time, I'll see y'all later.